This season of giving, an upstate church has delivered an act of kindness. They sure have. Our Ben Hoover is joining us here at 7 on Main Live tonight with this really special story that shows Christmas spirit is alive and well. Hey, Ben. Well, Amy and Gordon, any cancer diagnosis is a hard pill to swallow, but a second diagnosis, it would test anyone's will to live. But for Doug Hadaway, he had a son to raise and he couldn't give up. So when the folks at Lake Bowen Baptist Church in Inman saw that Doug was in need, they stepped up in a big way. I've been through horrific stuff. For Doug Hadaway, the horrific stuff started in 2008 with a runny nose that turned out to be much more. In three days, I saw five doctors and four out of the five doctors told me I was going to die. The fast-growing golf ball-sized tumor in his nasal cavity was aggressive and spreading, but Doug came through the chemo, radiation, and nine-hour surgery with a fighting spirit. But I stayed thankful to God through all of it, and, and I made it, and I beat the odds. Doug beat cancer. Then six years later, in 2016, he felt a knot on the side of his head. It turns out I had another cancer, and within, I'd say about three weeks, it went from a little bitty knot to the size of a tennis ball. Holding on to his faith and his doctor's advice, Doug didn't panic. With yet another stage four cancer diagnosis, he made a promise to his young son. I said, son, I'll never give up. As long as there's breath in my lungs and good Lord hadn't called me home, I will not give up. I said, we've got to have faith that God's going to provide for us. Doug fought again. There were literally nights that I would lay down in the bed and cry to myself to sleep because I knew I was going to die in my sleep. I felt that terrible. But in January 2017, after 16 hours of surgery, his second bout with cancer was over. But years of not being able to work and leaning on disability pay started to catch up. Taxes, car payment, my house payment, my son's birthday was Saturday, and I got Christmas coming up. How was I going to do all that on disability? It wasn't until a conversation with an old friend, Lake Bowen Baptist Church pastor Brad Atkins, did Doug's doubts start to turn around. I told him, I said, man, everything's caught up with me. It was one thing to say, hey, man, I'm praying for you. And I've prayed for Doug for years. But to actually say, what do you need? And, and I'm serious. Tell me what you need. Doug needed transportation. So Brad, his congregation, and the community pooled money together that made this moment possible. I mean, I had no clue. Doug had no clue that this truck was his, title and all, taking the stress of monthly payments off his already full plate. So, uh, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. What are you talking about? No, sir. Michael Douglas Hathaway. Hey. Paid for. You kidding me? And there's a check for the tax title tag and a little Christmas for you since you've been sacrificing for your son for five years. God sacrificed for you. God's good, brother. He knows where you are. He knows what you need. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly more than you could ever ask, think, or imagine. Oh, man. That what a special amazing. moment. And Doug still hasn't completely gotten over that. That just happened recently. Yeah. And uh, thanks to, uh, it was Wooten Automotive in yeah. Landrum. They played a big part in getting this truck for Doug, according to Pastor Atkins. And as big of a project as this was, it all came together, believe it or not, in only 48 hours. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I mean, this is the whole reason why we love Christmas time yeah. to have these moments. And, and what a great church family to do that for yeah. him and the community. All right, so how is he doing? Is he doing okay, health wise? Doug is cancer free today. Wow. And wow. he says he's ready to take that pickup truck and even pay it forward even more with any neighbors in need that might need some work done. And his son Asher ready to have fun with oh, him? Oh, huh? Asher loves the truck. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Great sure. story. Yeah.